Hey guys, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today I am making another Instant Pot recipe that you can throw everything in, you set it, and you're done. So I'm Kristen, I am sister number two from the Six Sisters at SixSistersStuff.com. So the last few weeks I've had a lot of you commenting saying you want more Instant Pot recipes. I've even had a few people texting me saying, okay, share some more. So today I'm sharing with you one of the easiest Instant Pot recipes because you literally are gonna throw everything in, you set it, and you walk away. So today we're gonna make my chicken teriyaki bowls. Now, usually when you make chicken teriyaki bowls, you have to cook your chicken separately, cook your rice separately, cook your vegetables separately, but with the Instant Pot, you can do them all at one time. Now before I get started with this recipe, be sure to subscribe to my channel and push that little bell so you can get all of the notifications every time we post to YouTube. All right guys, let's go make these chicken teriyaki bowls that literally take a few minutes to throw together. All right, so first I'm gonna start with my vegetables. I have some broccoli and a bag of carrots. I like to use the small bag of carrots, but you can use whatever you want. And then I cut mine in half just so my kids can have a bite of carrots without trying to shove that whole thing in their mouth. But if you wanna make it simple and easier, go ahead and just leave the carrots small without cutting them. So once my carrots are chopped, then I'm just gonna cut off my broccoli. Now in the Instant Pot, it cooks the broccoli really well, so you don't have to chop your broccoli any more than this. Next, I'm gonna add three chicken breasts to the bottom of my Instant Pot. So I'm using a six quart Instant Pot. If you're gonna use a three quart, just make sure you cut this recipe in half. Then you're just gonna dump your cut up vegetables right on top of the chicken. Next, I'm gonna add two cups of brown rice. Now you can use white rice, but I really like the brown rice. A few people mentioned that they like to soak their rice before dumping it in. That is totally fine too. All right, next I'm gonna add two and a half cups of chicken broth. Now this should give you enough liquid to cook the rice and to cook the rest of the vegetables and chicken in the Instant Pot. Right, so now you're just gonna put your lid on top, make sure you close it. Make sure your little vent is on ceiling, not venting, ceiling. Then make sure you set your timer. I pushed the meat button and I'm gonna do it for 20 minutes because my meat is thawed. Then with this recipe, I'm gonna do a quick release. That means I'm gonna let all the steam out at once. Now I'm gonna go hunting for my chicken. So I know it's in there on the bottom, so I'm gonna pull it out the best I can. It will fall apart because pressure cooker makes your meat so good and so juicy. So just try your best to get it out. Then I'm just going to shred my chicken. Now you can get a really sharp knife and cut it into chunks, but for me, it's just easier to shred my chicken. All right, when you're all done shredding, you're gonna just dump it back into your Instant Pot. Then mix your chicken in really well with the rice and the vegetables. Now you can add your teriyaki sauce right now, but I like to add it in individual servings because I don't like very much and my kids love it. So they like to add a lot more than I usually do. So after you pour on your teriyaki sauce, you're just gonna mix it in with your rice, your chicken and all your vegetables. I like to add green onions on top of mine. All right guys, that is it for my Instant Pot recipe today. Thank you so much for suggesting to make more. If you want to see more Instant Pot recipes, be sure to give me a thumbs up and comment below. All right guys, I hope you have a great day. We'll see you later.